Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this first in a new series of videos uh, that I'll be doing to help answer questions and help with understanding and help in general just make insurance less scary. So uh, I'll talk about frequently asked questions, misconceptions, real world examples, and share some of the experiences that I've had with clients and other business owners. Hopefully you'll find these helpful and informational and hopefully you'll enjoy them. Uh, today's video is going to be pretty straightforward and lay the foundation for what these videos will be. And it will help set the groundwork for helping me help you uh, understand what insurance is and why I do the things the way I do when it comes to helping work for you. Um, to start, insurance exists to help protect you and your family and your stuff um, against things that you may or may not be prepared for or you may not or may or may not expect but that you're not prepared for at this very moment you prepare for these things by buying insurance that being said making sure that you are properly prepared to be set right by insurance uh, and not just having an insurance policy you want to make sure that it's the right way probably a recurring theme in these videos is going to be being insured versus just having an insurance policy. An insurance policy is a contract that stipulates that the customer, you, is going to pay a certain amount over the course of a term at a certain rate, and you're going to have certain limits of protections, certain coverages and features. These purchases protect you against losses. Losses being the money that would be required for you to get back what you had before a claim or accident, or the money that you are liable to pay to another person as a result of being at fault in an accident. The company agrees to pay up to the limits that you carry in your policy. Like with any contract, there are a number of stipulations and conditions and definitions that will be met by both parties uh, before any settlement or agreement or final offer is offered. That's why it's extremely important for you to review your insurance policies preferably with a professional like myself, most preferably with me directly. Uh, the simplest way to start describing this is by talking about car insurance. Not everyone owns a home, but most everyone has a car that they uh, are looking to insure or have to carry insurance on. Um, now in Texas, carrying auto insurance is a requirement by law. Does that mean that everybody does? No, it doesn't. I see it every single day. But state minimum coverage is required in order to make sure that if you do have an accident, that you have a company backing you uh, to pay for damages to the other driver. State minimum coverage is not what you need. It is simply the minimum required to be legally on the road. Um, state minimum coverage offers very low limits of liability protection for property and injuries. Um, some in the industry call it fender bender coverage because the limits are really only good for handling very small accidents where there is limited um, damage and there's not significant damage, not significant injuries. Can you imagine if car insurance was not required? Uh, you say someone hits you, they don't have insurance, you don't have insurance. So how did your car get fixed? How do you pay to go to the hospital to get checked out? How do you pay for physical therapy or even pay to go to the chiropractor for the pain in the neck that is this accident happening and no one being prepared to pay for it? Imagine courtrooms filled with thousands of cases every day where people are just trying to get the $5,000, $10,000 fender bender claims paid. Are small fender benders the only type of accidents that happen? No, they are not. Um, but are you prepared to pay for the damages, bodily injury and property damage liability uh, that exist over the limits of a state minimum policy? Most likely not. No one knows when they're going to have an accident or how bad it's going to be. Trust me, if they did, insurance would be a lot easier. But there is zero guarantee that you or me or anyone else isn't going to have a bad day and have a bad accident. So do you want your policy and the limits and the coverages to be fender bender coverage? 
do you want to have major injury accident coverage? Or do you want to be insured and have a policy and limits that will protect you from being financially responsible for the worst case scenario, an accident involving death? Your policy is going to pay up to the limits that you carry. Everything over those limits still falls on you, does not go away. This is something that we'll come back to regularly in these videos. Now I mentioned earlier about terms and rates. One common thought most people have is looking at their what they pay for insurance, what they use of their insurance, and see it as rolling over year over year and not getting anything out of it and questioning why their changes or why their, their premiums go up or down. Uh, the important thing I like to remind people or explain to people is that the ratings you get are your ratings for the term and the cost of insurance for that term. So whether it's a six month policy or a 12 month policy, the rating for that term is for that term alone. Now there are many things that play into ratings. Um, loyalty to a company and renewing can be a good thing long term, year over year and have a positive impact. Things specific to you also play an impact. Your age, um, where you live, the value of the things that you are protecting. Um, those are all things that will play a role specific to you. I hear it quite a bit. I don't have a lot of accidents or tickets, so why does insurance change? That's good. You shouldn't be getting in a lot of accidents. Most people don't get into a lot of accidents. It's not the same people getting into the same accidents over and over and over again. While there are people out there that have multiple accidents, their ratings will reflect their impact on their costs to insure. Um, but most people, for a majority of people, go years without an accident. It's somewhat cliche to say, but it's true. That's why they call it an accident. Other factors um, that happen within the insurance industry. Insurance is about risk probability and statistics. And if the probability and statistics in the industry show that things are changing in either cost or frequency, that's where you're going to see changes. Uh, you probably have seen recent reports where North Texas has grown by their population by 1 million people since 2010. That's a huge population boom. When that many people come in, the statistics change. There are more people more cars, more homes, more accidents than ever before. So that's going to change. And that's what we've seen a lot here lately over the last decade. Um, now, given that your rate is specific, is a term specific, insurance deals with short terms because of how quickly things can change. When you buy a house, you buy it at a certain mortgage rate. Uh, however, that term for that term, but that term can be 20 or 30 years. Uh, same thing if you buy a car and you finance it for five or six years. Uh, your payments stay the same because you are locked into those payments and those rates and you have a contract that says you'll make those payments over that financing term. Now there are insurance policies like life insurance policies that have terms of 10, 20, 30 years. And if you have policies like that, that's where you're going to see consistent payments for a long term. Um, and you're going to see those paid out the same year over year. Um, so it's important to remember that rates and terms for regular insurance policies on six or 12 month terms, um, because they're more flexible, but year over year in the long term, they're more sustainable, more consistent for existing and new customers. I'll leave you with those things for this week, limits, rates, and terms. Um, I could do a four hour video over all of it and I wouldn't be able to explain it all and also no one would watch it. I wouldn't watch it and I'm in the video. So I hope that this has been a good start. I hope that you found some, uh, some interesting things, some valuable things from this video. Wherever you are seeing this video, please like it, share it, or comment on it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want from these videos uh, to touch on. Also, if you have an, an idea for a name of this video blog or vlog as the kids call it, uh, please let me know. Don't hesitate to throw it out. I am open to suggestions. This is Thomas Weaver, and this has been To Be Determined Insurance Blog Video Name.